Hello, this is Matthew Miller from Nokia Experts. I pulled out my N900 today, popped the SIM in, and lo and behold, there was an update for MIMO 5. So there was an update for my N900 today. From what I understand, this is not a major update, uh, but as an update to prepare us for uh, another major update that is coming that will bring some more functionality. Um, so if, as you can see on the desktops, there's nothing's been changed. We go into the, the apps. Nothing here has been changed. I tried and hoped that maybe OB Maps had been updated. That was not updated. Um, all the rest. Conversations still doesn't have MMS support. Nothing else like that. OV Store still is not active via that link. And in here, nothing much has changed. One thing that has changed is the App Manager. If we jump over here, you can see it's got some new icons and a little bit different look to it. And I also discovered um, via Mark at the Nokia blog that you can get to the OV store on the N900, which is actually an N900 OV store, so it's optimized and it knows that this is the device you're using via a link. Okay, so I've got it saved here, I believe. Let's see. Where did I save the OV store? I might have blown by it here. Okay, so my link's not working, but I know what it is. It is store.ov.mobie.mobi. Now, if you punch that in into your browser on the N900, you will see a store, right? And this is the store that is actually um, all these applications that you see in here are for the Nokia N900. They, they recognize that it is the device for you. Um, there's a few apps. I guess there's about three or four pages of apps. I believe there's one or two pages of games. Um, and lots of audio, video, and some themes and things. A couple things I recommend you download immediately. I'm going to show you on the video here. One of them is Angry Birds. It's hilarious. There's Solitaire I've downloaded. Labyrinth. Um, I thought I put that on there, but I can't find it. I'll have to look some more. So there's not very many games. Apps-wise, um, one that I'll show here is Project Gutenberg. There's a Gutenberg ebook reader. Um, and then there's some of the other ones. Level Touch. And then there's some other level applications, you know, or uh, touch applications. Um, some of these we've already seen on the device, but then there's a couple other additional ones here, as we can see. So I won't go into all those. I'll let you discover that for yourself but I'll show a couple of examples of apps I have downloaded. Okay, so let's bounce back to my apps. Let's go down here. Um, Mail for Exchange folders is nice. Uh, that actually will let me sync now on my Exchange, the localized folders that I set up on my device, or on my Outlook account, so that's pretty cool. There's a full clock. Um, End Speed is a racing game, which is pretty neat. But uh, let me show two of them, um, M. Gutenberg and the Angry Birds. First, first we'll start off with Gutenberg, which is a ebook reader application for the project Gutenberg works. And it should load up, and then um, there's a search, right? There's a search there. And let's see, I already downloaded one book. Oops. Yeah, so there's my local books that I downloaded called The Wild. So you can search for any book uh, that's in the project Gutenberg and then download it. I've already downloaded this. And as you can see, I've actually set it up to jump into portrait mode. Okay, so there we go. We have Call of the Wild with Jack London um, in portrait mode. And then to read a book, you just scroll up and down. All right. And as you can see, it's pretty nice on a device like this. Now you can also, if you jump up in the settings, you can jump back into uh, turn portrait off or inverse the colors. And there we go. That actually might be a more readable too. We'll have to try that out. I've just started playing around. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty nice to have. Um, and there's thousands, well, maybe even millions. I don't know how many books are in the Project Gutenberg. But it's nice to see a nice ebook reader with uh, good support coming there. So the next application I want to show you is a pretty funny game. So it's called Angry Birds. And so far, all these are free. These, I believe, are the. Okay, I'll go load up and listen. So it's loading up Angry Birds, and then I'll go... I'll go back to the beginning because that will show you, as you can see, there's uh, 5, 10, it's like about 20 levels. I'll go back to the first level so it can show you kind of an introduction of the game. So as you can see, the eggs are missing from the nest. 
the birds are not happy. And it looks like these uh, monsters over here have taken the eggs. So your job, if you've seen the movie, um, oh, what was that? Great Outdoors. Was it Great Outdoors? I believe it was Great Outdoors. Um, it was a cartoon where they threw the bunnies all over the place and used the bunnies kind of as weapons. Pretty hilarious. Well, now you're going to use the birds and you're going to sacrifice the birds with a slingshot and try to take out the structures where these other animals are hidden. So, you use your finger, you pull back and you angle, you change the angle, change the pull of the slingshot, let the bird go. There we go. And you try to knock down the structure. And as you can see, you get points for different uh, things falling down. It's got some nice graphics to it. You get bonus points for birds that you still have uh, spare birds. Okay, here's another one. You've got to knock all those three animals off there. We've got five birds, so let's go ahead. Alright, I knocked down one. It's aimed a little bit higher this time. And what you can... What you can see is you can see the little trail from your last throw, from your last slingshot. So you'd be able to adjust higher or lower depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to go a little higher to try to get that farther one. It's got some funny sound effects. You can hear the birds cheering and angry and stuff. Here we go. Oh, not very successful there. And you see the smiley face turned into a sad face when I knocked it down. Oh. I believe I'm still trying to knock that one down on the ground down there, so I've got to uh, try to aim over right there. Oh. So I failed that level. You can play it again, and uh, it goes on and on. There's some gets to be some real uh, civil engineering chores as you uh, as you try to figure out what you need to. knock these structures down and knock over the animals. Now if I can knock that rock I can uh, succeed here. So let me give it one more try. <laughs> oh, a little bit higher. Oh, I missed it. Okay. But as you can see, it's kind of a funny game. It's got great graphics, actually. And uh, let's go to the last one I was at. This is the last one. Yeah, so this is a house with glass. So let me just throw one here. And as you can see, if we use a little bit of technique to try to hit the structure at the right place. Houses aren't necessarily easy to knock down. I have one more shot here. There we go. Level succeeded. This one's kind of tough. Oh, that was a bad shot. Need to go higher than that. Higher than that, I think. Oh, there we go. Now it's going to be tough to knock the rest of that down. I'll get one more shot here. Too low. 
All right, so that's Angry Birds. Really nice graphics, actually. I don't know if you can see it in the game. And uh, kind of a fun little silly game. And uh, the ebook reader. So I'll discover some more, and it's just nice to see there's an upgrade. Hopefully, it's a little bit more stable. Uh, sometimes mine resets. But uh, overall, pretty happy with the uh, Nokia N900. And I uh, hope you are too. Thanks for watching.